part two quiz review. Sorry about that. And um, we're going to take a look at the last few that we didn't get to in class, starting with number 15. So we're going to write uh, 4 square roots of 2 minus 4i square roots of 2 in polar form, putting our argument in radians. Okay, so let's first find the modulus, and I'm going to go over to this, uh, actually this window here, and let's first find the modulus of this complex number. Okay, so it's going to equal the square root of um, 4 square roots of 2 minus 0 squared plus also the imaginary parts 4 square roots of 2. Uh, I believe that's oh, it's a negative four square square negative four square roots of two. Minus zero squared. Okay, so that's going to equal excuse me. Uh, that's going to equal 4 square roots of 2 squared, because when you subtract 0, it's just a number. Plus 4 square roots of 2 squared. Okay, so that's going to equal now oh, 4 square roots of 2 squared. That's 16 times 2, so it's going to be 32. Whoops, let me get the pencil out. 32 plus 32. which equals 3 square root of 64, which is going to equal 8. Okay, so the modulus is 8. Okay, and now um, we need to find the argument and um, put it in radians. So this is the real axis. This is the imaginary axis. Make this uh, a little bit better here. <clears throat> yeah, there we go. All right, uh, so we have four square roots of two on the real axis and then a negative four square roots of two on the imaginary axis. So let's just say, you know, we go out about this much here. We're going to go about the same distance. Well, we are going to go the exact same distance here. And so our complex number will be here. Now, if both these lengths are the same, you're going to form a 45 degree angle. Okay, so let me actually do a line here with the horizontal axis. So this angle here is going to be 45 degrees. which is equivalent to pi fourth radians.
Now you may think, oh, cool, I'm done, but you're not. Um, because the argument isn't this angle here, it's this angle around two here. Okay, so uh, the full way around is two pi, and if you convert two pi into pi fourths, the full way around would be eight pi fourths. So take away a pi fourth, right? Because you're taking away this part here, um, and you're gonna have an argument of seven pi fourths, one less than eight. Okay, so our complex number in polar form is going to be uh, z equals 8 times the cosine of 7 pi fourths plus i times the sine of 7 pi fourths. And that's number uh, 15, okay? All right, let's take a look at 16. So this one we're also putting in polar form and we're doing it in degrees. Okay, so we got two plus two i square roots of three. Right, so I'm gonna make this a bigger one here. So z equals two plus two i square roots of three. Uh, so we want to take the modulus, so we're going to say the modulus of z is going to equal square root, and we're going to do 2 minus 0 squared, but you know what? 2 minus 0 squared is just going to be 2 squared. And then we're going to do 2 square roots of 3 minus 0 squared, which is just going to be 2 we're going to add these. 2 square roots of 3 squared. So that's going to equal well 2 squared is going to be 4 uh, 2 square roots of 3 squared is going to be 4 times 3, so that's going to be plus 12. So that's going to equal the square root of 16. Which equals just 4. Okay, so we have the modulus. <clears throat> now we want to figure out um, the uh, we want to figure out the argument. So we have two plus two i squared to three. So let's say we go out you know, one, two. Well, square root of three is. Uh, roughly 1.7. So we do 2 times 1.7, that's going to be about 3.4. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, and we'd be slightly past the 3, say somewhere around there. Okay, so we'd put our complex number right about here, roughly. You know, rough sketch here. Here's our real axis. It's a poorly drawn imaginary axis there. 
Now the argument is the angle off of the positive real angle axis uh, to the line segment connecting the complex number here. So it's this angle right here. All right, so if we draw our triangle, uh, let's, let's undo that, that wasn't drawn very well. So, um, I'm getting an odd delay here. Okay, so that's square root of three here. Uh, this, well, it would be two square roots of three, but if this were just, we're looking at just the ratios, we can, you know, we can say two square roots of three, but it's really, if I just want to call this one, it's going to be the same ratio between the two. So we have one square root of three here. This would be twice as long as this side, so this is going to be two. It's really four, you know, because it is modul the modulus. But if we're going to try and figure out the angle, um, the uh, angle opposite the square root of three, this is a 30, 60, 90. So the angle opposite would be 60 degrees. So the argument is going to be... 60 degrees. All right. So, and we want this one in in degrees. Okay. So, we're going to say z writing in polar form now. z equals 4 times the cosine of 60 degrees plus I times the sine. Oh, let's undo that one. Maybe, uh, maybe not. There we go. I times the sine of 60 degrees. And we're going to close out our parentheses and I'm going to uh, stop this short video here just to post it and then we'll continue um, with, let's see, 17, 18, 19, and 20.